Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to extract and visualize the monthly time series analysis of SMAP soil moisture data that is soil moisture active passive data. So now let me explain about the SMAP soil moisture data. So the SMAP that is soil moisture active passive data is a NASA's environmental monitoring satellite that measures the soil moisture across the planet. It is designed to collect the global snapshot of soil moisture every two to three days. With this frequency changes from specific storms can be measured while also accessing the impact across the seasons of the year. So SMAP was launched in January, 31st January 2015. So what does a SMAP uh, measures the soil moisture? So SMAP determines the amount of water found between the minerals, rock materials and organic particles found in the soil by measuring the ability of the radar to penetrate the soil. The wetter the soil is, the lesser the radar will penetrate. So now let me explain about the signs and application. So application of uh, SMAP data. So the SMAP observations are used to characterize the hydrologic and eco ecosystem processes including land atmosphere exchange of water, energy and carbon. And among the users of SMAP data, the hydrologist, weather forecast, climate scientists and agriculture and water resource managers. Additionally, user includes the five uh, fire hazards, flood uh, disaster managers, disease control and prevention managers, and emergency planners and policy makers. The following are the few applications of our SMAP data. So weather and climate forecasting, draft monitoring, and flood and landslide monitoring, and agricultural productivity, and human health. So, so the soil moisture information can uh, let to enhance the prediction skills and draft monitoring and hydrologic forecasting like uh, flood and uh, landslide uh, monitoring in uh, agricultural productivity improvement in uh, crop yield forecast and enhance the capability of crop water stress decision support system for agricultural productivity and human health improved seasonal soil moisture forecast directly benefits the feminine air early warning system Benefits are uh, realized through improvement of prediction of heat stress and virus spread rates and improved disaster preparation and response. So this is an official site where you can able to access our uh, NASA's uh, the global soil moisture data. So this is uh, for Earth Engine. So this is a code we can able to use to in order to access our the global soil moisture data. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine. So in this video, we're going to extract and visualize the monthly time series analysis of SMAP soil moisture data and export to our Google Drive as a CSV file. So, so to extract and visualize our SMAP soil moisture data, first we have to define our study area. So let us define our study area to define country's boundary layer. So define variable, like a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection, United States of Department of State, large scale international boundary, simple 2070. So this specific code will insert our world uh, country po boundary polygon into Earth engine. So next we're going to uh, define a variable called ROI that is region of interest that refers to our study area. So equals to countries dot filter double dot filter dot EQ country now and this is our study area. So that is our South Sudan. So it will be our study area. And next to add this, add this layer. So next to add this layer into earth engine, we have to define map.add layer ROI here refers to region of interest that is this particular variable and this curly bracket refers to default visualization parameter and output the layer name as ROI that is our region of interest. So to center this layer, we have to define map.center object ROI here refers to our region of interest. Next we have to define our list of years. So the swap uh, that is a swap the soil moisture data that is available from 2015 onwards. So now let me start from to in order to view the time series that is in order to detect the change analysis from of soil moisture data from 2016 to 21 we had to define the years from 2016 to 2021. So for that I defined a variable called years equals to double e dot list dot sequence. So we are starting from 2016 to 2021. So next we have to define a month. So for that we define a variable called months equals to double dot list dot sequence. So starting from January to December 1 to 12. So now next we have to load our soil moisture data into earth engine. 
So to load our soil moisture data into Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called collection. So it refers to coal here refers to collection equals to double dot image collection. So this specific code will insert our so that is a swap soil moisture data into our earth engine. So in that we are specifically selecting of SSM. That is our so that is our soil moisture data. We are specifically selecting our soil moisture data. So next we have print. So in order to view this data, we can output the uh, output this. We define print. Uh, col uh, collection dot first so it will uh, give us the so it will give us the first data so from 2016 to 21 we have a list of datas from that we to, it will give us specifically the first data so in order to view our data so this specific code is we are done to in order to view our data so next we have to set a visualization parameter for our layer that is for our soil moisture layer so in order to set a visualization parameter we have to define a variable called soil soil visualization so visualization parameter is very required because in order to set the minimum and maximum values and also the color palette for our layer so to set a visualization parameter we define a variable called soil this refers to soil visualization so minimum value set a minimum value of 0, 0.0 and to a maximum value of 28.28 and we are setting a color palettes so for our layer starting with a very low value so this color indicates the low soil moisture uh, value and this color indicates the high soil moisture high soil moisture value so this specific color represents the blue color and this specific color will represents red and this represents the yellow and next to center of a layer we have to define to center and add our so or uh, swap uh, soil that is our so to center and add our soil moisture uh, layer into earth engine we have to define map dot center set center so this is our latitude and longitude and this is our zoom level and generally a zoom level varies uh, the zoom level ranges from 1 to 16 so we have set a zoom level of 2 and to add our layer that is to add our soil moisture data that is global uh, soil moisture data into earth engine so here we are referred uh, inserted our global soil moisture data into earth engine so now to add this layer into earth engine we have to define map dots add layer cold dot mean so it will generate the mean the entire global uh, mean value of our soil moisture data for the entire globe from 2016 to 2021 so soil this refers to the visualization parameter refers to this variable visualization and output the layer name as soil moisture. So next we're going to summarize our that is a, so next we're going to summarize our swap that is our soil moisture data by month and year. So this is very essential to in order to perform our time series analysis. So in order to change the in order to see the change uh, changes in different years and uh, and the months of our soil moisture data. So in order to view the time series changes of uh, soil moisture data so it is very essential to summarize it as a by month and year so we can uh, able to visualize the changes changes in the soil moisture for each month and also for the year so for that we defined a variable called s swap a swap that is our soil moisture data so for to summarize our soil moisture data we defined a variable called swap equals to cul dots here they ref this refers to collection so that is our uh, soil moisture data so collection so where variable swamp equal to soil collection dot select ssm soil moisture data so basically we're going to create a create a time map for for here so the specific code we use to generate our time map that is our soil moisture data for each month and year so basically this function what it does is it converts the computer readable format to a human readable time format so for that we define a variable called d is equals to double e dot date double e dot number img dot get system start time so it basically converts the computer readable time format to to a calendar format that is in month and year so for that we define a variable called m is equals to double e dot number d dot get month so here m refers to month and y refers to year 
and written IMG set so month equals uh, referred as M and year is Y so this specific function will convert our so this specific function will convert our uh, system start time that is our uh, computer understandable time format to a calendar format so now let us run this code so now go to the option called run script and click run script so now let us visualize our global uh, global soil moist data so before that let me explain this let me explain about this function so here you can able to view this is our raw data so here are the properties go to the property section so we can able to see that system start time and system end time so this this is a specific code that is uh, understandable only by the computers so it is not a human readable form so in order to convert it into a human readable form that is from to a calendar format so a uh, system format to a calendar format so we are specifically using this function to convert that so now let us check this out go to the second one click this so go to the property section so now you can clearly able to view that so we have a month specified as 4 the month number 4 and year 2015 so in this we have clearly specified as 2015 and month 4 so now let me close this so now let us view our global uh, soil moisture data so this is a global soil moisture data so NASA is a provider so you can clearly able to view here so this is a study region that is South Sudan let me uh, so this is our South Sudan so now you can clearly able to view the different color scheme that is our color palettes so here the red color indicates a high moisture a high moisture soil moisture and the blue indicates the low soil moisture the red indicates of higher and blue indicates of lower and yellow indicates of intermediate soil moisture so the two distinct colors red indicates a very high moisture soil moisture and blue indicates a very low soil moisture so now let me get back to our codes so now next we're going to uh, next function is going to generate our monthly soil moisture data for each year so to uh, to generate our monthly soil moisture data for each year first we have defined a variable called by year month equals to double e dot image collection dot from image so this image collection refers to our soil moisture uh, data so next we define years dot map function y so here years refers to so the year, years here represents we already defined the list of years so now let me show you that so this is a list of years we already defined a variable years where the list starts from 2016 to 2021 so next is we are defined written months dot map function m so here written months refers to over previously defined a variable called variable called months equals to we have the list of sequence from january to december from 1 to 12. so the specific function so this specific function will generate our uh, soil moisture data monthly soil moisture data for each year each of the year so for year for uh, per year we have 12 months so for 12 months we have a uh, for each month we have our uh, monthly soil moisture data so next we defined written uh, smap dot filter meta metadata uh, years equals y so smap here refers to this variable so smap here refers to this variable that is our calendar uh, converting from a computer readable to a computer format to a calendar format so it returns smap dot filter metadata so it goes to map it goes to here and calendar converts to a calendar format with the uh, filtering with the specific years from 2016 to 21 so year equals to y and similarly it go for dot filter metadata months equals m so it is filtered by a specific year as well as as well as it is filtered by 
a specific months so the year year here represents y and month represents year and we next we select with specific data that is our soil moisture data ssm we are selecting this specific data ssm dot mean so here the mean function we are using specifically for in order to extract the soil moisture data the mean value of soil moisture data for each of the months so each of the month have a so suppose in case you have seven different image for a month so in order to obtain the mean value of that so mean value for that month so we are using this specific function mean so mean function is generated is used in order to obtain the mean value of our soil moisture data for specific month and, and for specific years so this specific function will calculate our monthly soil moisture data so now last we define print monthly call refers to a monthly collection by year month dot first so suppose if we want to view this uh, our monthly uh, soil moisture data so we defined uh, to view that we define print monthly collection uh, by year month dot first so first here refers to only the first data the first month it refers to uh, the first month of that year so we don't want to load all the soil moisture data into this table so just we want to load the first data so for that we define dot first function so now let us run this code go to the option called uh, run script click this So now let us view our monthly soil moisture data, only the first data. So we have loaded uh, only the first data. So using our first function. So we don't want to load all the data. We just want to load the first data. So go to the properties. So we can clearly able to view here. We have loaded only one data, 2016, January 1. Month 1 here refers to the January and year 2016. So yeah, we have just loaded one data from our monthly soil moisture data from the specific function now let me uh, close this so next we have to perform our zonal statistics uh, to summarize our uh, soil moisture data to a specific study area called uh, South Sudan so uh, zonal statistics is very it's just required in order to generate in a table or form so basically our zonal statistic what it does is converts our the image data to a tabular data so for that we are performing zonal statistics so in this function we are what is the, we are doing is so we are calling that is by year month we are calling this uh, variable by year month so we are calling by year month that is our monthly soil moist data so for that we defined a variable co called as mom south sudan equals to by year month that is this refers to our this variable that is our monthly soil moisture data so next to obtain our zonal statistics for our, for our specific study area that is ROI here it refers to region of interest so now let me show you my region of interest so ROI here represents our study area South Sudan so here so in order to obtain the zonal statistics for our study area, we have to define a variable called features equals to ROI.map function. So return as date, month, and year. So we'll obtain zonal statistics in the form of date, month, and year. So next we have defined a variable called projection equals to WE.image. So referring to by year month. So this specific function and dot first and dot projection. So we are using our projection function. So in order to avoid any uh, projection misalignment. So next we are uh, return IMG. That is our image dot reducer uh, reduce region. So here we are using our reduced region. So that is our zonal statistics analysis. And our feature is our region of interest. That is ROI feature. The feature here refers to our region of interest. That is our South Sudan. So and we are applying our earth engine reducer mean function. So basically this function is used in order to calculate the, the mean value for mean value of the specific uh, study region that is ROI. 
So this specific function will calculate the mean value of that specific ROI of a study region. And we defined our spatial scale of around 1000. And here we define projection in order to avoid any misalignment in our projection. So that is refers to here. So technically what you're doing, what we are doing is we are generating a zonal statistics for, for our uh, monthly and yearly soil moisture data. So now let us print our swap summary mean and uh, and uh, output our uh, and limit our data up to 10. For, let me limit up to first 10 data. Let us view up to first 10 data of our zonal statistics. So now go to the option called run script, click this. So basically this is our zonal statistics summary. So we have uh, limited up to uh, 10 uh, results. So from 0 to 9, we have to up to 10 results. So now let me show you this the first one. So we can clearly able to view the mean value of soil moisture data is around 3.21, month is 1, year 2016, South Sudan. Similarly, this is our 2016 month 2 and mean value of our soil moisture data is 2.17, 2.7. So now let me close this. So now let us export our uh, soil moisture data as a CSV file format to our Google Drive. So now to export our mean soil moisture data to our Google Drive, define a variable called selectors and uh, year, month, country name, country name and mean mean soil moisture data and uh, you have to define export dot table dot to dry collection here refers to smap south sudan description smaps time series folder earth engine data file prefix snap smap uh, time series file format so that is our csv and selectors here defines our year month country name and mean soil moisture data so now let us run this code go to the option click run to export our soil moisture mean soil moisture data as a csv file format to google drive click this so go to the section called task so now you can able to see here, here there is a uh, task called unsubmitted task so snap time series click this and uh, a window popped up initiate table export so file format is csv smart time series click run so it mostly takes less than a minute to export to our google drive so now we can able to clearly view here our sub our submitted task has been exported the smart time series so click this open and drive click this open and drive So now we can able to see this is our folder that is our CSV file format of words mean soil moisture data. Click this option, open with uh, Google Sheets, and from here you can download this file. So now go to this file and uh, download. Download as Microsoft Excel. So I have. So now I have downloaded my uh, time series. So I have just opened my uh, mean soil moisture data swamp time series. So we have year, month, country name and mean value, mean soil moisture data. So I have used the year and month to uh, graph uh, our soil moisture data. So this is for South Sudan from 2016 to 2021. So this one here represents the year. For 2016, we have 12 months from January to December. And this is our soil moisture data from 0 to 25. So we can clearly able to view that in January, the soil moisture rate was very low. And uh, as, it, as it's getting higher, so you can clearly able to view in July, it has a very high soil moisture data. And similarly, in 2017, it has a very low soil moisture data. 
and in the July it has a very soil, very high soil moisture data. And similarly for other years from 2016 to 2021. So in this way you can able to uh, download your soil mean soil moisture data from Google Earth Engine and uh, convert to a CSV file format and plot it and view the time series analysis of our mean soil moisture data from 2016 to 2021. So the data is available from 2015 onwards. Now let me get back to Google Earth Engine. So in this video I have shown you how to extract and visualize the monthly time series analysis for our soil moist data and export to our Google Drive as a CSV file format and view our time series analysis the time series analysis for our soil moist data for South Sudan and you can also perform our, your soil moist data analysis the time series uh, analysis for any country of your choice so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like